First Snow, Part 7, A Miraculous Ladybug Fan Fiction. If you have not heard the previous six parts, you can find a link to them in the description box below. A special thanks goes out to Mogwai1988 on Tumblr for the use of her art in this video. You can find a link to her Tumblr in the description box. Breathe, Marinette, Tiki said, munching on the dessert Chat Noir had boxed for his date. But why me? Why are we on a date? Does he know? I don't know. You're a great help. Thanks, Tiki, Marinette said sarcastically. What if he likes you as Marinette? No. 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 Okay. What if he just wants to get closer to you? What do you mean? The purpose of dates is to get closer together, right? You might be one of his only friends when he has the mask on. And? I have a feeling that he acts differently as a civilian than a Chat Noir. You're probably only one of three who he can be himself around. Three? You, Adrian, and his Kwame. That's actually kind of sad. Are you ready to go back out there? Yeah, thanks, Tiki, Marinette said, opening the purse for her to hop back inside. Wait, I have an idea. What's that? Let's do something with that hair of yours. My hair? You're on a date, silly. So? So put it down, Tiki exclaimed, tugging a ponytail band out to let her hair fall to her shoulders. But I... Marinette began, watching her Kwame fly around her head to tuck and style strands of hair. I'm not trying to impress the guy, she thought. There, now he really has a reason to call you princess. She laughed at Tiki's excitement at her rarely seen hairstyle and sighed, picking up the purse and turning to go outside. She caught Chad Noir's eye as she walked out and smiled at him, shyly tucking some loose hair behind her ear. It's not a romantic date, she told herself. We're just getting to know each other better. As friends. What took you so long? He began, stopping mid-sentence when he noticed the change. He stiffened a bit and looked away for a moment before glancing back at her, his head facing away. You, uh, <laughs> look nice, he said, his words lost somewhere between a mutter and a cough. Thank you? Marinette shrugged off his compliment, unaware that the skin peeking out from under his mask was turning a bright shade of pink. So? Where are we off to? Adrian? Yes? Oh, good. He'll be joining us then. Uh, no, that's not what I... He ran his fingers through his hair, obviously ruffled from accidentally answering to his civilian name although she didn't know that. Let's just go. What's going on? Cat got your tongue, she teased. Do you mind if we make a stop first? I don't know the final destination, so I'm down for almost anything. Okay, come with me, princess, he said, walking over. Whoa, no. She stretched out her hands to put distance between the two of them. What's wrong? You are not carrying me to the next place. We're going to walk like civilized people. To her surprise, Chad Noir began laughing. <laughs> Marinette, he began, a Cheshire cat grin spreading across his face. You don't know me as a civil man, do you? What? Get it? Civilian? Civil man? Get it? Get it? You're... something else, you know that? Let's go then, 
he said, opening his hand as a gesture for her to take it. Something must be wrong with me tonight, Marinette thought, reaching out to place her hand in his. This shouldn't sway me. He's not charming at all. He's like a brother to me. And yet, despite the protesting thoughts she had, she felt herself becoming swept up in her partner's emerald eyes. Thank you so much for listening. This was a Miraculous Ladybug fan fiction. Part 8 is on its way. In the meantime, you can check out the video below for more fan fiction. I'll catch you next time!